What do you mean? A pterodactyl. What? That's what it sounds like. What do you think a pterodactyl sounds like? <laughs> I'm not going to do that noise. I'm not going to. <laughs> There's hair on here. Uh, I'm trying to get you situated. You looked like you choked and you tried to grab your phone I did. and it didn't no, work. No, I choked. I choked and then I, I saw hair, so I tried to move it. You should drink that with your pinky up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Audio listeners, Taylor just grabbed his cup, his little espresso cup, and then put his other pinky up on his other hand. Okay, so... Yeah, show off the map. Nope, we're keeping it down. <laughs> to be honest, though, there are... There's... there's, there's Some apps? There's like three. On one side? No. Or no, it's like... Two and one. It's like... I can feel two and one. Two and one solid <laughs> whole one. You have one, more two. than that. <laughs> when you laugh, they're six. They're not like. Well, I'm not trying to have like. That's not what I'm going for. Also, I'm not eating enough for it to be like that, says everybody. So yeah, that's I don't true. Know. I don't know. They might go. When bring, you eat more. Bring it on, baby. <laughs> Running croissants. <laughs> running croissants. Bring it on. So, uh, you know Nintendo, right? Uh, yeah. Switch it up like Nintendo. That's the lyrics of Espresso. Very, very tied into your cup. Go on. Mm -hmm. I did yeah. choreography to Espresso. Okay. Yeah, great. So I learned today <laughs> that Espresso makes no sense. The song. The coffee makes a lot of sense. The, Is that the what, words where you were going something. with the Nintendo? No, unrelated completely. Oh, I was like, did I nail it? Is <laughs> no. that what you were going No, talk? not at all. No, but I, side note, I learned that, I don't know. What did she say? What are the Switch words? Switch it up like, like a no, Nintendo no, 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 Switch. No, what are the, co the chorus? I don't care about that. Um, uh, hold on. Now you're putting me on the something spot. Something so like espresso. Um. Is it I am so espresso? No, no, no. no. It's that me espresso is but, the line. But what are the um what are the other words? Hold on, hold on. I gotta think. I gotta sing it in my head. Uh think about me every night. Oh, is that sweet? I guess so. Yeah. Is it that sweet? I guess so. Me espresso. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I I can't think of I can only think Here, of my hold choreography. On, hold on. Give me a second. Sorry. It's now been in he's my thinking head. about. Wait, no. Hold me on. every night. Hold oh, on, let me get there. That is it. No, that's that me espresso. Yeah. She's what? saying she's the espresso, keeping him up all night. That's not, that's fine, I guess. Whatever. Okay, so Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, so Nintendo, right? Yeah, the company, yeah. you know, makes games. Yes. They have their uh, half year, I don't even know what it's called, a half year sale. What are they calling it? Mega Extreme Fun Sale. That's a fun. It seems what are you pretty mega, at? Pre pretty extreme, and pretty fun. Don't they have a new Switch coming out? Not for years. Oh. Um but I, I'm pretty certain that all of the games are tied to my account because they're digital. Mm -hmm. So, like, it should just convert. Are you asking me to buy games? Nope. I'm saying that <laughs> there's a lot of enticing reasons to buy games that if I was to sit on an airplane for a long period of time, it's the only time that I think about potentially buying games and playing them. And the only reason that I might turn on our Switch for the first time in two years. I think it's been a year in a year and 12 months that I mean, it might be, I don't know. I thought I Cass would it. have encouraged you to 
No, Cass isn't. I'm the he bully is. that makes people spend money on things. That's true. I meant he was using his on the airplane and you were next to him. So yes, I thought that may sort of. make you want to use your switch. Well, I was An in, I was in the middle of Cass and Dylan playing on the switches and I went, I just brought my iPad. Dylan was playing his? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys all could have been doing it together. That would have been a well, cute little I could sight. Have, I could have asked Cass if he wanted to play a game. Hey, you want but, to play a game? But I was more interested in watching Silo. Okay, so, that's fair. No, what I was going to say is they always have these like the sales, and I'm always like, when I see it, I'm like, oh, I'd love to play that game. Oh, I'd love to play that game. Oh, I like that game. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're cheap. Sick. And then the couple times that I've bought games, I've played them for like five minutes, and then I don't play them ever again. Yeah. I only want to play um, Bust a Move. And what is that game? It's the ball one. I don't even think they have it on Nintendo. It's that it used to be an arcade game at the skating rink. What? It's the. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called in my brain. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Neo Geo. Exit. Yeah. That's the Bust best. A move. But that's one of those games that I get like obsessed with and then I dream of it. And I can't think of anything else. Puzzle, Bobble, Bust a Move, 16 bit console version <gasps> for the Nintendo Switch. For real? Not lying, even remotely, $7.99. Wow. And you. But then we can't. Like, well, actually, you can play with a partner. Well, that's a take turns one, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it a at the same time situation? Actually, no. I mean, at the arcade, it split screens it. At the arcade, like I go to the arcade. at On the arcade one growing up, it split screened it. Well, let me log in and add it to my favorites. Then I can have a list of favorites. Oh my God, I got to do a recapture for a Okay, wait, what are you bicycle. saying though? The, the, is it on sale now or it's happening soon? No, it's on sale now, but the, oh. it's, it's, uh, it, it's for the next like 10 days, but. They always have like the sale of games and stuff. And I'm always like, yeah, I'd love to play these games. I'm going to definitely play some games. Yes. I would say buy like three max. Don't play any of them. Two to three max. Like I want to buy the new Zelda because yeah. Didn't you not finish the other Zelda? I never made it out of the instructional tutorial for Zelda. So why don't you play the other one? first that's what i'm saying it's almost like a a, uh, that's hard i was gonna relate it to like a lip gloss or a chapstick like you're not gonna buy a another one of the same flavor you might i know a lot of people do so that's why i kind of stop myself you gotta double up just in case you run out you know well you have multiple bags you know so i do understand that i have that doesn't make sense just take it out and put it in the other bag i got like 40 bags i have a problem I have Tell a Tell me problem. something new. <laughs> the Dior Lip Glow, if anyone has experienced this, mine, like, it leaks. And it's not broken, but it leaks somehow. And that stuff is so sticky. And so I, it's sitting on my counter. It can't go in with my other makeup because it's making everything sticky. What happened? Why is that the case? How do I prevent that? If you can help me out, please let me know. Yeah, I can help you. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Done. Ew, no. I mean, it works, though, and it'll be sticky and gross, but it'll be great. They have Mario Party Superstars. That came out like three years ago. I don't think I know what that is. Well, it's a new Mario Party. Mario Party is annoying. Hot take. I feel like you liked Mario Party. No, it takes too long. No, you're the impatient one. I just, I don't like, I don't like playing with people. Do I need to get you your own Switch? <laughs> no, definitely not. Are you sure? Uh huh. I have so many books to read. Oh god! I have four books from the library <sighs> right now. This is a problem. This is a problem I've had my entire life, and I blame it all on my dad. So the library only lets you. I think this is the rule. This used to be the rule. I don't think this is a rule my mom made up. I think this is an actual rule. You can only check out six books at a time. And I used to try to check out six books. And of course, I didn't read them all. Why would you try to check out six books? Why do I have four books right now? I don't know. 
Honestly, I should probably play my Switch more. <laughs> Are I, you looking through your games? I'm just looking through all sorts of games, and I just keep going like, oh, I liked this game. I should actually like play it instead of like mind-numbingly going through threads or Instagram or something. I could oh, spend that, that time true. on... I don't do that. I don't mind numbingly go through the internet. Um, I I do. I get sucked into it quite a bit. It's unfortunate. I mean, less now. Yeah, less now than before. Yeah. I don't. That was hard for me to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of it's easy. The all the algorithms have made it so simple to just go. But what I feel like the psychology is you're looking, or at least for me, it's like I'm looking for the posts I want to see, <clears throat> which I just need to go to the following yeah. and just get through the following to catch up. But they don't have a thing that tells you you're caught up anymore. There's no way I could possibly get caught up. I follow too many people. I mean, I follow like, I follow a lot. I don't think I follow that many on threads. What do I got? What do we got here? I don't. Oh man, I need five more threads. followers on threads to be 666. <laughs> Um, I'm following 306. Oh, okay. So it's not that That's many. Doable. I mean, it's, it's a lot, but it's not that many, but, but threat. Wait, so there's a thing on threads that you can go to following. Mm -hmm. You do it on Instagram too. <clears throat> well, that I know. So you go, so like it opens you in the for you tab, Oh. right? And you can just scroll forever. And so like, of course, everything with me, you get uh, an iPhone 16 rumor, the Adobe terms of service, some weird dunes on Mars NASA thing. That's that's I was gonna cool. say that actually looks Hold cool. On. I'm gonna send that to Ryan uh, real on. fast. Boop, boop. My entire feed is baseball and hockey. This dude. Some would think it's skating, and it's not. This dude makes these really cool videos on really the cool. YouTubes. But what's his name's Andy to Andy Two. He said it. It's Andy T O. Oh. It is Andy. Oh, he said Andy too. So I'm okay. assuming it's actually Andy too. Um, but what's unfortunate is his videos are stunningly pretty. Uh huh. But the story, quote unquote, story content is unbelievably not great. Got it. Because he's like slowly telling you about a product review. Sometimes with really beautiful B-roll footage, like that. This yeah, Detroit I was thing. Say like that's gorgeous. But the rest of the video is like him doing a, a camera review. Like he did a thing. Is it tied within the video though? But it's not done in like that creatively fun way that's like. I actually haven't seen a lot more, of good ones like that. It's more, right. It's just like straightforward. So he has really pretty and then it's like a normal unboxing. I've never and seen that person. I just looked up his YouTube. He, uh, I saw him because of the iPad, the new iPad Got stuff it. when this I was one? looking. Yeah, that one. <laughs> the first video. I'll, I'll subscribe right now and then I'll unsubscribe if I don't like it. The iPad one's good. There's another one that was pretty good. The one that really made me kind of just like feel bad about it was, <laughs> well, you, you know, I don't want to say like sour taste because like, it's not like I, I know it, am writing him yeah. off, but like. It's kind of like a, ah, oh, man, really? So, because he does all these videos, right? And like, it, he didn't, I think he said like Apple, he's worked with Apple. So, oh, another thing about him is he he nonchalantly says it in the iPad one. He made the tutorial thing, the tutorial timeline in the iPad Final Cut. Got That's it. his video. Got it. Like the layout and all the stuff to show you the features and everything. So like he's connected with Apple. Yeah. But, and that video was good. And then there was another one that was good that I watched that was neat from something. And then he did one about like a Sony camera. And I think it was just in New York or whatever. He always like says whatever city he's in or something. And as he's starting to go through it, I'm like, oh, this is really cool. And then he spends like the first five minutes of the video like explaining that Sony is sending him all this stuff and like doing an unboxing of it. I'm like, it. oh, I'm like, great, dude. Like you could have just said it. Yeah, like, like you have to say it. Right, but, but like can... show the cooler stuff that you yeah. always film. Don't show me the boxes. 
Yeah. These cameras aren't new. These lenses aren't new. You're spending a lot of time talking about this. Like, you kind of should have like sold it. What you talked it. about in the last podcast what of like um, the cutting room floor, like silo could have been cut down. Yeah, like just delete just, those parts. Yeah, I mean, I get it because it's like it's a promoted thing. So like he has to, you know, that's a tricky line to be like what you have to say or what like they're yeah. requiring of you versus what you feel obligated to like make sure that your viewers know that it's not just like I went out and did it because I wanted to. Yeah, it's like. I, I would did it because I wanted to, but also they sent me everything. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's a weird. It's been really nice to see a lot of companies in their, what's the term? Uh, what they tell you to film in and talk brief. about in their brief that like they are making it more and more like very clear that you have to say this up front or you have to put this in text up front or make it very noticeable that like it's sponsored or that this certain thing was gifted or because yeah. it for a while people were like skirting mm, do it but like like i had to ask multiple companies like how how would you like me to word this yeah and they're like oh you don't we don't want you to and i was like well i i have to <laughs> right like because you're selling something i have to yeah. put that you're paying me to do this right i don't i don't know i there was just something about that one, and then there was, like, another couple that I watched that felt way more silly than, like, artistic. Mm -hmm. And while the iPad one was selling the iPad, kind of, yeah, it was, like, not. It was yeah. way more interested in the art, the like, the creative and being the artist with it. It is a very fine line to... Not but be I, too silly. But like, I think he's he's done it on a lot of videos. I'm yeah. we're dwelling on this. We don't need to dwell on it. But he's done it in a lot of videos, and I think that that made me bummed that I've seen a trend of more recently. Yeah, it's almost as if he got lazy. <laughs> Is that's kind of where my like. But also, I'm a creative to a creative, so like, yeah. I'm I'm nitpicking it way more than it deserves to be. Yeah. So you know, I mean, I get that. Speaking of YouTube videos, though. Your Dodger one uh -huh. is a banger. Hey, thanks. It is so good. If you haven't seen and listened to Taylor's newest video, that would, yeah, that is your mm -hmm. newest video um, of Dodger Stadium. It's like, it's like a warm hug. Yeah, I think. But it, that's just because I like Dodger Stadium. Well, well, I mean, if you like sports, it works because, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not specifically like it is dodger stadium but it's not as though you don't get that same general vibe it's more of a baseball vibe less uh yeah all sports because like not all the sports are the same sounds yeah that's but, true i want in my lifetime i want to work for a professional sporting what do you want to do though or stadium i don't know either like announce or teach or do social media or film something i want to do something with e preferably hockey or baseball <laughs> i feel like that's a lot of work that you're asking for for the potential amount of work that you want you want to basically stop what you're doing no, and no, go no. do that? No, no, no. Okay, then how do you think that's going to happen? I don't know. At some point in my life, I want to do that. Well, if you're trying to be social media, you're like, you're, you're a little, you got the, your timer's ticking. Why? You think social media is going away? No, you're getting old for social oh. media. <laughs> you got to keep up with the trends and okay, stuff. And fair. if you're not doing any fair. of that, you're not doing it right. I, People that are in charge of social media for stuff like that are like 10 years younger than you. Yeah. Not that you are not capable yes of doing it. And the, no, the but yes. The answer is typically yes. I'm not saying you can't do it, but I'm saying that the likelihood of you doing it is getting slimmer. Yes. Unless you true. are like very popular on the internet and you do but the even trend thing. But if you do the yeah. trend thing, listen, if you do the trend then things. You need to be doing those things and get yourself to a level that you can prove to them that you should be doing it because you have to be able to have a, like mm -hmm. a whole catalog of a resume, if you will, of work that you've done to prove that it's worth their expenditure or 
they go get some random other young person that kind yeah. of has that same deal because they're going to have someone your age overseeing them that does the content side anyway that doesn't understand that. And then they hired them under. Yeah. So you have to be able to be in charge of more. Yeah. Or you have to become a photographer. Like you got to start doing, you know what I mean? Like there's not really like a, you can't just show up with your iPhone and be, right, the, right, you know, right. you got to like, you got to go do more if that's what you want. Like in those departments, like you don't just roll in without like right, yeah. being a photographer or being on some other show or t like, you know, like Would you got to have. Would you ever have, want to do that? Do what? For a sports team, like video or photo. Maybe with how tired I am all the time. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay, that's. <laughs> I hold on. I follow. I follow the main girl for the Dodgers. Yeah. Do you look at her story? Do you follow her? Yeah. Do you look at her stories? Yeah. Do you see the times that she's working? Yeah. She getting like three hours of sleep every day. Yeah. I feel like I'm hit by a freight train if I get five hours of sleep a day. Yeah. If I had six hours, I'm groggy and messed up. If it's seven hours, it's still a little rough. Yeah, that's true. Three hours is not in the cards. How does Otani get 10 hours of sleep? That is not a question for me. Exactly. Shohei Otani. <laughs> yeah, he's going to see this. How do you get 10 hours of sleep God. a night? Because the schedule doesn't add up. Uh, no, I think he says he tries to. Okay. <sighs> Because that, I can't... I don't even remember what I was talking about. I was talking about something. I had something I wanted to say, and now I don't remember. I'm not... Keep going. I don't know. It's gone now. I got I got broken uh, by a TV show we just watched. Uh, MasterChef has a new season. That's one of our favorite shows. And... What broke you? The you guy, remember. Warren, who's 70 and used to be a flight attendant... He's they, he's in oh. like really good shape, and he, they were like, "Wow, you look really good for 70. And he said, "When I was younger, my body used to be a temple. Now it's the temple of doom." <laughs> and it was so funny. It was so funny. Yeah. And I cackled, and then Taylor was like, "What is wrong with you? Why I, did that break you?" Yeah, I did not expect that to break you. It was so funny. That was pretty good. <laughs> I I had um shout out to anyone who is listening or watching that I grew up skating with. I went to a birthday party recently for a coach named Barbara. It was her 90th birthday. And I went to they we had like a Sunday morning practice. They had a birthday party. Was I gone? Where was I? Yeah, you were working. Hmm. Did you not know I went to this? You do not inform me of your Sundays, huh. typically. I think I did. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Maybe I didn't. Um, but I went to the rink for her birthday party, and it was wild how many people were there that I hadn't seen in forever. And it was, like, not people that I follow on the internet or, like, keep up with, so it was very jarring. I was like, whoa. Like, I literally haven't seen you in five years. I haven't seen you in ten years. It was wild. Um, but I learned that a few of them have been listening and watching the podcast. So that was really fun. Um, but I had a conversation with one of my friends who is 39, I believe. And I had one of those, like, I haven't had this experience. Uh, I don't think ever yet. Um, but I was talking to this family and the youngest daughter in that family, she was probably four the last time I saw her. And that was about four years ago. And I was talking to her because, like, I remember her well. And she was like, who are you? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you don't remember me. And she was like, no. And I was like, oh, that was so weird. Like, because I know her so well. And it was like well, a how funny... well do you know her if you haven't seen her in four years you can't possibly know no, her but that like well. I, kn I know her like i taught her and i like know her from when she was four but it was just a funny moment because it was like the whole family we caught up really quickly like we haven't seen each other in four years but we 
have kept up. But the eight year old was like, I don't know who you are. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. But it was just a funny moment. And I was like, that was four years ago. And yes, a lot has changed. Um, the number one thing that they said was like, your hair is so long. <laughs> Cause like they, back then my hair was short still. Um, but I was like, I really don't feel too different from like four years ago or this other, my friend who I was talking to, I haven't seen her in probably six years. And I was like, I, I really don't feel that different. Like I feel as immature as I was when I was 16 or as mature as I was when I was 16. And she was like, screw you. And I was like, what? And she was like, I'm in so much more pain now than six years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And I was like, are you really? And she was like, yeah, like my back hurts, my knees hurt. And I was like, I, I get that. I understand that. And I know that that happens. But I was like, I really I was like, not to brag, I feel great. <laughs> like I feel way better. Yeah, but that's completely than I did. different from thirty one, or you're th yeah, you're thirty one. Yeah, to from thirty one to thirty nine, that's a literal decade of time. But then I was just talking last night with Laura, and Laura was like, "No, I feel exactly the same. She is also thirty nine." And it was just, it was funny because sure. it was like. Yes, I understand that like we all age differently in our bodies. Obviously, like some of us get hurt and things like that. But it was just a really funny moment because I was being so genuine, like I I don't feel any different. <laughs> and then she was like, screw you. <laughs> and I was like, it was just a funny moment. But like Barbara turned 90. That's insane. 90. For all the audio listeners, I'm just giving her a big old thumbs up to that, that one. That is wild. And she looks great. She looks the same. It doesn't ring very interesting to me because I it doesn't, I don't know, like people turn 90 all the time. <laughs> people don't turn 90 all the time. Well, everybody turns 90 once. If you make it to 90. I'm pretty sure it's not that uncommon to make it to 90. Maybe not. I don't know many people that have made it to 90. You know two so far. Yeah, that's true. Or no, three. Who's Didn't your grandpa third? make it that far? Uh-uh. Well, sucks to suck. I don't think so anyway. I don't remember. All I know oh, is wow. it doesn't feel... 90 doesn't feel that big to you? Well, it's sure, but like it, it's not one of those where like you should be reveling in their especially different existence that's like a hundred or a hundred and five or something how old was the guy on Wrexham that they were celebrating it was like 110 that's why yeah he that's what I'm his, saying he said his secret was was it scotch brandy brandy a little Get bit your feet sorry. out of here a little bit of brandy <laughs> stay on your I'm not side to play footsie stay with stay you. on your side of the table uh, sorry god <laughs> <laughs> you need to kick me I'm trying to stretch my leg Well stretch it I, that way I keep sitting like with my legs crossed And then my right Hip Are you sure it's your right one? Is it your left one? No it's my right It's like my inner thigh and hip Like feels like it gets stuck Why don't you say it normal? And then you don't have I to don't worry wanna. about it <laughs> But if you say it like a normal person Then you don't have to be worried about it Okay fair Right? That's fair yeah, because if you sit on on one leg, then it's gonna fall asleep and get all stuck, and then you're gonna have to move. It's well, like when you are... it's like when you lay like this for a while, and then your shoulders stuck when you're like laying. Yeah, down, that's what it feels like. And you're like, eh, and you have to get out of it. <laughs> that is, you know, Taylor fell asleep like this. <laughs> for anybody that is audio, uh, my arms were behind my head. He looked like, like he was chilling, posing, like the. Chillin' pose. But I don't flat, know what to call like that. It, like he had one pillow and his hands. And I was... <laughs> Why was I like that? I don't know, but it was so funny. I took a picture of you. <laughs> you never even showed me the picture. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, you look cute. <laughs> I hate it. I'll find it. <sighs> um, But I have been... He's been falling asleep very quickly, and I have not been. Look, when I say I'm tired, I cannot overstate that, like... I'm on the brink of dysfunctional. 
found it. Every day. <laughs> look how look how good you are. you look very good looking. I am pretty ripped in that. I should add this as a sticker. <laughs> a sticker <laughs> Although for you're what? bald because your hair blends into the what? Bed. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> when you add something as a sticker, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I've never done that. That's my only sticker. Yeah. See, you never you're bald. Added it? You're like a Lego man without the hair. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's but cool. But I guess you could use it. That's cool. I'll only use it for you. Nobody else gets to see that. Good. I, I, you know, there, I got oh. some muscle going on though. I know. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, I've been working on it. For that long was enough. the next day we went to Disneyland. Hmm. Well, that day, this photo was taken at 1222. Hey, okay. So, uh, you know, you could say whatever you want about Disneyland here in a moment, but, um, so, okay. So, mm-hmm. Get it all out. of our new friends that got Disneyland passes that have now canceled their Disneyland passes. I, oh. I've first, I've now figured mm, it out. I understand the psychology problem that you all ran into. <sighs> and I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, y'all did it wrong. Because we went to Disneyland and you can explain okay. in, in better depth in a moment. <sighs> Hold your horses. I have no horses. We went with Brett's not girlfriend, girlfriend. We don't, don't say that on here. We don't know. Her girl, it, it, it's, it's not, not, but I don't know. Brett's We've friend. never asked. Brett's friend. Okay. Well, I'll say it to his face. Sure. What difference does it make? And that was a blast. It was super fun. It was very fun. But that was like a, a real Disneyland day. Yeah. I don't want to go back to Disneyland for a minute. I need a minute. I was tired that day. I'm still tired. I don't think it's, I'm not tired from that, but that was a lot of Disneyland. I was tired from that. That was a lot no, of walking. I, I said I'm not, I'm not still tired from oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But y'all, all my friends, all of our friends that have had Disneyland passes that don't have them anymore, that's because you guys did it like that. You yeah. go, what you do is you got to go with the mindset and the intention to walk your happy little butts into the park, do nothing, maybe get a snack, maybe walk through the treehouse or something, get in like a mile or two walk, and then walk your happy little butts back to the car, go home. That version of Disneyland makes you go once a week. Yeah. Yep. You go on all the rides and do all that craziness, you'll go once a month at the most. Yeah. Once every six months. I mean, to go, we weren't even there the whole day. We were there like half day. We did a lot of miles and we did a lot of rides. I did 23,000 steps that day. Yeah. I also ran in the morning, but that's not. But I didn't run in the morning and I did like over 20,000. Yeah, but your, your little legs go. <laughs> and my, my legs don't go. <laughs> we got there, I think at like 1.30 p.m., maybe 2. Maybe 7. And... We did almost every ride. Now your feet are on my side. That's not your <gasps> side. Look at where my feet are. No, they were. I just. Spit. That's not. That is over That's, halfway. No, it's not. You're trying to play footsie with me now. This is halfway. My feet are here. No, your feet are not there. Your foot is here. Yes, it is. Yeah, huh? Yeah. I wish our table were see-through right now. <laughs> okay. So we went to Disneyland at like 2 p.m. Um, we went on every ride that we wanted to go on except um, Rise of the Resistance because it was broken down. They let us in line because it was back up. It was only back up for like 10 minutes. And so... It shut down again, and so we had to leave. But we got a fast pass because of that, which was great. We even went on Matterhorn, and that is a ride that I do not go on. I hate it. Hurts my butt. But 
because we were with good company who had never been on the Matterhorn, we did it. Hurts your butt? No, that time it didn't hurt my butt. It used to hurt my butt. Uh, what I did do, though, is I came, I think, within millimeters of my death. I came so close to hitting my face on the cushion four heads oh, right that, in front of the, well, you're the bar. cross-eyed or whatever yeah. you do that. I wonder if you can see that on this camera. No, because you can only see one eye. Oh. So you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to notice anyway. <laughs> You can see you hit your face on that. <laughs> I did see my life flash before my eyes. Yeah. That was uh, terrifying. If you're on Matterhorn, you have to be careful because it stops very abruptly. And if you're leaning forward at all, your face could very well go into the seat in front of you. Unless you're on the front seat. Yeah, which we put her in the front seat because I didn't want that to happen. Didn't think about it until we were on it. I did because it almost happens to me every single time. Hitting your face on it? Mm-hmm. Um, wow. But if you are going to Disneyland, um, I highly recommend going on the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway because, yes, it seems like a kid's ride, and it is a kid's ride, but it is very fun. It's top two a ride. It, you know, like Rise of Resistance, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Do both. Do it. Save yourself some some hassle. <laughs> Enjoy your day. But uh, oh, we even went to the other park and did those rides. We did good. We did a lot. See. And she was like, "Oh, well, I'll probably tap out like a few hours before close." We didn't make it to close. Yeah, we did. We couldn't go on another ride. What was the last ride we did? Um, not California Screaming. The one with the loop. <laughs> no, that park closed at nine. Oh, sorry. Matterhorn was the last one then. Because hmm. we went back and we got in line for Rise and then that closes. No, we did early. Hyperspace Mountain and then we did that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. We're here on yeah, the same page. Yeah, we did good. Um, but it was very tiring because Taylor and I don't go to Disneyland like that. Only... I don't know, every other year probably when someone is either visiting or like hasn't gone in years. So we do it big. Yeah. You, it's really hard to get me to go and do do it big because, you know, it's like I go to the park so much that I don't care to try I mean, and do it big. I will do it, but it, you got to yeah. be somebody who literally never goes. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not going to devote an entire day, two days to being dead. It's funny though. Cause like the most important things to me are the food. <laughs> are the food. Yeah. The most important things are the food. Yeah. Food is a singular. The different types of food, the different food that you get. <laughs> you know, there is a perk to taking us to Disneyland. You get a discount. <laughs> you can use my discount whenever you true. want. <laughs> Just um, saying. But yeah, there's so many different things. I was like, okay, if you're a fan of ice cream, you got to get the ice cream on Main Street. No, we can skip that one mostly. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. If you're counting your calories in any capacity, like if you're trying to stay within like a 4,000 calorie budget <laughs> for the day, skip that one. Do like four scoops at Salt and Straw. That's way better. Okay, if you're an ice cream enthusiast, uh, Main Street the cones okay slightly hot take skip the main street do the cones do salt and straw really because soft serve and then the same general type of ice cream that you get at salt and straw is the same general type of ice cream you get from main street yeah if you don't want to go out to salt and straw i understand do main street yeah. you don't need all three that's a lot of ice cream for one day it is. But That's if you're too there, much if you're there for, for two day. days, which most people when they come from far away are there for more than one day. From far away. <laughs> <laughs> A galaxy far, far away. Uh, oh, yes. we didn't get to the best part. What? So the reason I wanted to talk about this was okay. the candies. Candies? What the candies? So, oh, from far, far away. <laughs> yeah. Those candies are from far, far so away. So our friend is from Ireland. Well, she lives in Ireland. And she brought us candies from Ireland and she was like, wow, she was shocked because we ate like 
all of it when we were there. Look, Europe candy. <laughs> Those calories are so low compared They're to so our different. candy. And you don't feel bad when you eat it. Yeah. Like it doesn't make you feel yeah. poopy. But it could have been all the walking. It could have been. It very well could have been. Um, I can't tell you the last time I actually ate candy while I was there, other than like whatever is sold there. Does churro count as a candy? No. It's baked good. <laughs> it's a baked good. It's fried for sure. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, maybe it's baked, I guess. Wait. Churros are fried. Yeah. Hmm. That's what churro means. Yeah. Fried. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to quote you on that. Uh, Anyway, we ate. She was like shocked because she's like, okay, I bring candy and food for people all the time when I'm visiting and nobody eats it. Like not in front of me. And I was like, well. I don't want to just put this in my bag. I want to try all of it. So we we did well. Yeah, we ate uh, almost. We ate. Oh, we still have a little more of the buttons. Oh, I finished the raspberries. The They're the cookies. Dodgers. The yeah. Dodgers. Yeah. Yep. Ah, speaking of the Dodgers, um, for, for churro does translate. I get. Well, no, oh, no, it doesn't. It just says it's a term for a fritter. Ooh, I love a good fritter. Well, that's why you like churros. I like, I, I don't discriminate. You might. With baked goods or desserts. <sighs> now it's got me thinking, now I want like a croissant and like a crepe. <laughs> like a churro. Maybe, I wanted popcorn, but. You know, uh, an eclair. Mm-hmm. I don't have the calories to burn for a popcorn. I know. It's also kind of late. It is. We don't know it is a podcast now. now. It's like almost nine. I don't really. <sighs> I'll refrain. I'm done for the so night. I was. Um, oh, I, did, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Yeah, but now I don't remember what I was going to say. I don't know. You were talking about eating the candy and how you didn't feel bad. Yeah. What were you going to say? I was going to say I was talking to Andrew. I kind of already said it earlier, but I was talking to Andrew about sleep and how I think I need to sleep more. And you do. Prob- well, I'm pretty certain because with how tired I am always. I slept almost nine hours. I last know night. you did. For I people know. who cannot sleep that long, I'm sorry. Okay, check this out. We went to bed at the same time ish because I fall asleep and then you stay up for about an hour and then you an go to hour, bed. Yeah. yeah, great. So we're in bed at the same time. I'm out of bed by seven ish. So in bed by uh, last night was like 11 30, right? Mm-hmm. Wake up a few times, get out of bed by seven. I've slept like s- probably maybe seven hours. Let's give That's it, let's say seven hours. You up. Let's say seven hours. And then you go to bed, say midnight, and you wake up at 9 30. You are in bed like very much so sleep on and though. off yeah. until 9 30. Like I came in. I don't think I got out of bed until 10. I came in. From my run at 10.15 and you're still chilling in bed like you had just woken up. I did. I went back to sleep. I wish I had the patience for that. That's the difference between you and I. It's not that you don't need the sleep. You no, are I need just it. impatient. I, you know, I, impatience the wrong word. I think I get anxious is probably the right word. If you didn't set an alarm. No, I'd freak out if I woke up and it was like nine something. Why? Because I have so much I'm trying to accomplish. And I don't, I, I said it kind of sarcastically, but I, I genuinely mean it. In like, no, and I understand. Like but I like, have so I have much. Just, the, just as much stuff on my schedule. And I get it done when I allow myself to sleep. Mm-hmm. It's the days that I don't that I wake up early and then I'm like awkwardly exhausted and I can't focus to get my stuff done. Look, I'm just, I'm alive. I think I you should know. try sleeping more. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> you took a nap yesterday. I was very proud of you. <sighs> that was rough. I woke up from that and I was just as messed up as when I went to sleep pretty much. Do you have the ability to not set your alarm tomorrow? What do you mean do I have the ability? Like to not set an alarm. Do I, I literally have so much work. I have to edit this podcast i have to edit the promo from the last one and this one i have to edit the stuff for savage 
I can say the company. Oh. Um. I thought you couldn't. I've posted that I've worked with them. Okay. The end. Um, <laughs> I have to do that. I have to take Scarlett to... You have Scarlett to graduates up. tomorrow. So, well, okay. Graduates in middle school. For anybody that has <laughs> lost track of time that knows her. <laughs> Going to high she school. She looks like she could be yeah, graduating well, that, high school. Andrew was asking me about that, and I was telling him about Friday, and he goes... She's graduating high school. I was like, no, 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 no. She's 14. Yeah. Because <laughs> God, she's only 14. She does not look 14. I was like, I know. It's crazy. Um, but then Saturday's your workshop situation, which I'm not that included in, but it's kind of a weird middle of the day and it's gonna take me a while to find parking and stuff. So like I have to set aside yeah. more of the day. And then I'll probably be pretty tired. So I'm not really gonna want to work on stuff when I get home too much. Um, and then Sunday I'm working and then we're celebrating Scarlet in the afternoon. And then Monday we have to record more podcasts. And then Tuesday we have I a love shoot. That you're laying out the entire week. An all day thing. And then I'm under really crazy timelines. The rest, like literally Tuesday through, I guess really all next week. Yeah. I'm on like really, really tight timelines, which means I'm terrified to try to find time to sleep because if we should go to sleep soon, because if that's my, another thing that we can try doing, that's the other part that terrifies me because if I'm going to sleep soon and then I have to get up later, well, it's not really like I'm taking away hours of the day. The, yeah. All all of that entire long thing to say, I'm taking away hours of the day that I don't know where to fit this other stuff into. And it makes me, well, okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to fit it all in. I'm trying and I have no idea. Yeah. And it makes me think that I need to slow down or do less of exercise things to fit more possibly work things in. But I have one more week, seven more days, eight, seven more days, right? Eight more days? Eight. Eight more days to absolutely nail it. Seven more days of working out or six more days of working out and that's when i oh. am requiring a full stop you're not working out on tuesday not on sunday not on tuesday then that's only six so i said i said oh, seven and i said six seven. yeah Got my it. math see remember i'm not that yeah. good at math i had to write out and i've done it multiple times everything that i want to accomplish and then i put a little mark Post-it notes. yeah well, no that's not my accomplishments. Those are videos. Ugh. Those are all videos. <laughs> and the green is actually three videos. Um, oh, I got to do gifts for you too. <laughs> yeah. That's easy. It's just one. I, I was holding off because I thought I'd have more, but I don't. I At what point it. in your life are you going to learn how to do them? So oh I don't my gosh, I you. can, but that is the one thing that I have you do. Please just do it so much faster. <laughs> I'm only faster because you haven't tried to do it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's literally I want you to feel special. I want you to feel like you're involved. <laughs> it's literally a template. You guys, this is <laughs> this is the one thing that Taylor does for the website that is not admin other stuff. I don't even do that much and for your work. He's complaining so much <laughs> about two it's, gifts. Look, it's less that it's the gifts for you. It's more that it's just the inconvenient timing that they always roll in. That's that's you have it. Three weeks, technically. No chance. Yeah. yeah you not do. if I'm not supposed to be working for two of the three weeks. Okay, then you have one day. No, you have like four hours. What are you talking about? I just about? need it by the first. First of when? July. What? How do you get four hours out of that? We're by the time you get home on the thirtieth. <laughs> wait, wait, why is that the hour mark? What? Because I'm gonna put it up before I go to sleep. But what is that? No, no, I'm confused. Why waiting three weeks <laughs> is where you give me the time? Or you? Cause no, I would have if one you don't week. Do it. No, if you don't do it in the next week. If you don't do it in the next week. You know what? I'm going to do it when we're done with this freaking podcast. 8 p.m. 
How many hours did I say? Four? Yeah, four hours. I'm going to do it. <laughs> After this Anyone podcast. and everyone who sees the gifts for next month's choreography, thank Taylor. Send him a message. You said there's one. It's beginner, intermediate, and advanced. It's two. You lied to me now, <laughs> too? Oh, my God. I can't work under these conditions. People who don't know you are going to be like, this guy is so whiny. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I'm too tired to care. I don't care. Anyway. Not slightly. I hey. Put, hold hey. on. Okay. I put green lines next to the things that absolutely have to happen. So I have like you a You got two whole things list. that got to happen. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that's four things. Well, We've done, we're in the process of a second one. It's it says, technically five. Four, four, oh but then the one that has a Four question. podcasts. Yeah. But then the, the breakdown, I also need to do, I have decided. So it's actually six things that have to happen. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you could just do all of them and then just be done. And well, then... that's my ultimate goal, but I'm trying this new thing where I'm realistic and I, you could live enough. like me and just burn I it out. I don't want to do that. <laughs> See, I have Burn the learned, candle from all the ends. I have learned that when I do not get enough sleep and when I don't do other certain things, my life just falls apart and I'm miserable. So I'm trying the route of not doing that. He's experimenting with that first route right now, and I don't think it's going well. It's not going great, You're guys. living how I've lived for the past 20 years. I, You know... I also had this conversation with Andrew. I, the reason I have so many conversations with Andrew is because we drive like two and a half hours and then two hours back from LA like yeah. every week or every two weeks. Which is great. And it's great. I love it. But, I, you know, I've now forgotten what I was going to say. What were we talking about? Burning the candle up. Oh, we... we can't dude, even stay can't. on track. <laughs> so we both... Okay. I swear, I swear this used to be easier. <laughs> what life i could stay up i could sleep oh, for four 100%. hours percent yeah i'm in the best health of my life and i can't do it uh, all through school like literally elementary school through should college I through just, past should college? i just go eat del taco all the time apparently it gives us superpower we can stay up all night because i used to get no sleep <laughs> and i was fine can someone prove this it's called youth <sighs> That is, I can tell you the one thing that has changed is I, but I think it's because we've gotten smarter. I don't think it's like necessarily that we've changed that much. I think that I know now that getting enough sleep is better. Yeah. I think it always was the case. I just didn't know. Yeah. I also wasn't doing a hundred things. I know that. You were I was doing like sitting, one writing thing. music. Yeah. It was one thing. You we didn't weren't even stand. as connected. No. <laughs> No, no. But I was like training yeah. and stuff, and that's ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I also, I also saw a thing on the internet that was saying like, uh, more intellectual people have a harder time when they what was it when they realize, um, when they get anxiety, they. The, the people that are more intellectual have a harder time when they have anxiety because their brain is flowing through all the options of things and ways to fix it and try to go around it and patch all the holes. So you actually end up just like imploding or exploding yeah. with your brain instead power instead of just instead like of just compartmentalizing like, it and pushing uh -huh. it away. And going, so, yeah. so, you know, and not... <laughs> You when I read that, when I read I that, I related to it way too hard because I didn't even have to finish reading the thing, and I went, "Oh my gosh, I feel it!" And I don't even have to get there to I read was the whole thing. Trained to go. Boop. Do you just tie that in a bow and put it in the yeah. corner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't do the burying it and hiding it and forgetting about it thing. It comes up later. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Uh, you know what you said you wanted to talk about, but you didn't what? talk about is wheels. Okay, after all that, is very that a long dark? No, no, no. Dark. I feel like that got dark. Me tying that up, and then it. Comes no, you up just later. push it away. I mean, it sounds That's like a, a scary it. burp. <laughs> a burp. A scary burp. 
You did burp earlier today, and it sounded like a pterodactyl. I said that. I, I was in know. here, and I I heard outside. you. I don't know what that has to do with anything. What do you mean? A pterodactyl. What? That's what it sounded like. What do you think a pterodactyl sounds like? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to. I can't. I just expect you to go, ah! <laughs> Close to that. It was going to be like a, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, that is not what that's I what burped burp like. Sounded, that's what that burp sounded like. There's zero chance. Yeah, it went real high. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't Kevin? <laughs> because I said, you just sounded like a pterodactyl. And you said, no, I didn't. You said more like a, you, you didn't say velociraptor. It, I don't know. You said nothing. I don't think I said a dinosaur. No, you did. I don't I don't recall responding. <sighs> anyway, wheels. I've gotten a lot of requests to talk about wheels. So you Do we need to save to... this for another one? No. No. Okay. No, I've just... already brought it up. Well, I'm just saying, like, we we could tee it up like, you know, like a cliffhanger. Like, oh, no, you want to I don't like wheels? cliffhangers. Yeah, we're we are at a good amount of time. Okay, let me just say it real quick, and but then I can it, expand. I can worth, expand on the next one. Are we sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're gonna leave it so, cliff on. Wheels. <laughs> I've got a lot of requests about indoor and outdoor wheels. What are my favorites, and to talk about them on the podcast. So I will talk about them more in the next episode. But my favorite outdoor wheels are Adam Pulse. I have the big ones. I don't have the light. Adam Pulse is number one for outside for me. Number two is helium, roll line helium. And for indoor, my favorite by far is roll line ice. I always question is it ice or grease? It used to be one of them. Either one, if you find like an old pair online, ice or grease. 92 is my favorite, but a lot of people prefer 95. I just really like sticky wheels. Because I hate sliding. Sticky, 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 sticky wheels. <laughs> That's a good theme song. <laughs> I'll, I'll end it there. I can talk about it more later. Stick it. <laughs> Real good. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know man. if it's smart for us to record podcasts late at night. Yeah, hey, look, I had ice cream before this. I know. I thought this it would help. The, this, it is did. The, <laughs> this is the best you're going to get of me. <laughs> With your little espresso. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I hope you all think that that is espresso in there because honestly, the last shoot I was on on Tuesday, I don't think I told you this. Uh-uh. I had I either had 6 or 8 shots of espresso. <laughs> what? That's like Carly back in the day at Starbucks. I would roll in at like 10.30 and she's like, I've had six shots of espresso. What's up? So had my had espresso from home. Carly, if you're listening, congratulations on your second baby. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting. That is dope. Also, hi if you're here. <laughs> <laughs> um, double espresso from home. Uh-huh. Double espresso when we first got there. Does that count as two or is that one? I count them as one. Yeah. Well, okay. no, you count them. As, I didn't have eight double shots. espressos. So two so shots. It, it, so, See, that's where I'm like, that's no, one. No, because a lot of places will make you a single espresso. For real? Yeah. Especially, two is not normal? Es, no, especially not in America. If you ask for an espresso, you get one. One. That's you got to ask say. for a double Dope. espresso. Dopio. That is Italian. Okay. I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, that... Okay. <laughs> A double espresso. If you go somewhere dopio. that's not Italy and you ask for a dopio, they might know what you mean. They probably know what you mean, but they might also be offended depending on where you are. Got it. Um, but so, okay, okay so, so I had two at, one, home. two at home, two when we first got there, two at lunch, and two after. That's not bad. That's normal. On a shoot day, that sounds normal. Because I would have a, <laughs> I would have a pack of sugar in each. Okay, that's not normal, but it is. No, I did, I did it the brown the, sugar. I did it the Italian way. Yeah. Rip a raw cane sugar baby in there. That's do, not do, the Italian do way. Do not one, mix it. No, one? it's like seven. <laughs> it's not. Look, I'm, it's at least two. We all need to just 
pony up and put some hair on that chest and drink the espresso like it was made to be drank. There is a coach uh, somewhere in the U.S. that she's not American. Um, she required an espresso every hour at this camp, and it was perfection. I didn't understand. I'm really it tired of you little. saying perfection every time again. I'm sorry. You're really I'm bringing sorry. it back. Sorry, I don't mean to. Gosh. It was wonderful. There you go. She had like a runner for coffee, a PA and, for coffee, and it was, it was every hour an espresso. I really want someone to mess with her really bad and bring her like Colombian or like. <laughs> Like really caffeinated. Like, yeah, Costa Rican or Colombian and just, just drill her with like, she would only need truly two. I guarantee you she would get two hours worth of that coffee Maybe, yeah. and it would send her off the deep. Like she would be like. Well, like the Costa Rica that we have isn't more caffeinated than the other ones. It's more caffeinated than Starbucks and oh, Pete's. Sure. But and like, I mean, r- Dutch origin, Bros region and to region. We were in Portland. They were going to Starbucks. They weren't but going my, somewhere else. But my point stands because Starbucks double well, that's shots. Probably why she had them she bring needs, it every yes, hour. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which I would agree. Like, if I needed coffee that much, I mean, that's kind of why I drink that much coffee because it's, it's, I think it's Stumptown, but it's not like the great. Ro- it's like yeah. a poor roast from them, whichever one it is, yeah, or an uncaffeinated roast. But yes, I agree. But I think it would be wild to see what happens if they go like real espresso, like good espresso. Yeah. Knowing her, she would recognize it and she would be like, "That's great." Or but she would hate bring it. it. She probably would hate it actually, because a lot of people that drink the like, a, most of the people that drink the very like mediocre, like the very mid. That would be a really random message for me to send her daughter and be like, question, (laughs) does your mother uh, drink like strong, strong espresso? But you can't really say that because unless that person is in craft coffee or like specialty coffee, every espresso, no matter how weak, is a strong espresso. Because the average person drinks like a Keurig and the bold Keurig is like aggressive. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm, I'll publicly state it. You give me anything that is a drip coffee, that is like a Keurig homemade drip coffee that's not using craft beans or like specialty coffee beans that are not bought from a grocery store. Like you have to go to a coffee shop and buy the like good roast beans yeah, or, or a roaster or mm-hmm. like yeah. It will do little to nothing for me. What was the one that we had at Tori's? It wasn't a Keurig. It was. Nespresso? The Nespresso. Those were pretty good. Those did little to nothing for yeah. me. Yeah. Like but it was they were like, better. They well, were good. The, Nespresso is the espresso version of a Keurig. So it's like instant espresso versus being like instant coffee. Yeah. Because Keurig is is the like instant coffee. Yeah. Nespresso is But the little one cups espresso. are so cute. Yes. I want one. Yes. Just it's, cute. it's cute. It's cute. It's cute as hell. Uh, it doesn't caffeinate me. Yeah, that's fair. Which is useless yeah you know on a bad day i have three from home like a like specialty on a good normal day you have two yeah i have i could do one if i was 30 grams of beans in a pour over yeah well your ratio is what 16 to 1 or whatever it is what there's a rate i don't remember what your ratio is i made i gave it to you yeah i don't know i do 30 if i'm going hard 30 happen, grams for 48. 30 grams. However much for coffee it 480. gives me. 480 is what yeah. I pour to. I don't see, but there's a ratio to that that I don't know. Yeah. Mine is two to one. So mine is. Oh, uh, do I literally just divide that? Yeah. Mine is um, 18 grams for uh, 36. 18 grams for 36 grams of water, which is not a. 16. Yeah, 16 to 1. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> weird so, way to measure it, but that's how you measure coffee. The I grams. like all four. I like espresso. I like pour over. I like uh, French press. I like all of it. I've learned I, just espresso is the, the best route for me. I think when I'm in 
Europe, I do cappuccinos. I think the last time. I, why you got to like make it a, a thing if you don't like know? Because like here I don't really get cappuccinos. But Yeah, but what if you want something different? Well, you don't, you don't have to get it just because you're in Europe. Here I get lattes. Yeah, you do. But if you order latte in Europe, they just bring you milk. Not if you order a cafe latte. True. It's real easy to say it right. <laughs> also, if you look at Starbucks' menu, it says cafe latte. It does. It does not say latte. It does. But we all know what you mean. So mm, if they don't like you, they'll just bring you milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much more hassle for Starbucks than it's worth. Starbucks won't do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you for being here. Was this a long one? We're at an hour and seven minutes. Wow. Well, I mean, there might be like a minute or two to cut out of the beginning. So <laughs> all you <laughs> listening and watching, it's not actually an hour and seven minutes. <laughs> I thought he started recording and was doing a bit and he was just talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I half did it, but I really wanted the video game thing to start this. So I got it. I made sure to say something that made us cut. Got it. That More work sense. for me in post. Yeah, true. But thank you for being here. If you would like episodes early and exclusives, please get a membership at glitterandcatlitter.com or on YouTube. I do kind of wish that was espresso so you'd be like wired right now. I, it doesn't do that to me at this late at night. It makes yeah, me go sleep. It might. You might talk real fast. We appreciate you for being here. Very, very much. You already asked about the subscriptions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. I didn't ask. I told. Oh, please do it. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>